Hey, it's Rick here, and today I'm going to show you the GGMM Magic Cube case for your iPad second, third, or fourth generation, and I'll link in the description of the video as to where you can pick this one up. Here is the packaging that it comes in. This is a origami-style case, which these types of cases, you're either going to love them or you're going to hate them. And the reason why I say that is they can be tricky to get into the different positions. And a GGMM does give you some suggestions here on the back so you can kind of replicate what's going on here. Um, for me personally, um, I'm going to do my best, but I will tell you, I have a hard time with origami cases. Let's go ahead and open this up. You'll see on the inside, it is a lightweight uh, kind of shell here with some instructions on installation and removal. Zero grams on the scale, popping this on 136 grams. So it is fairly lightweight, which is a welcome addition to a case of this style. Let's go ahead and pull in the third generation iPad that I've got right here. Buttons first, and we're just going to pop these corners into place. Make sure you do it all the way around, and that's all there is to it. Let's close this up and take a look at it up close. So there is your GGMM branding. You can see all the folds here, which I'm going to attempt to do the different shapes uh, that you can put this thing into. There's your spine down below, 30 pin dock, as well as your speaker along this side. You can see your volume as well as your rotation lock. Everything is very accessible on this. There is your power, your mic, as well as your headphone jack. And then as we come around to the back side, there is your camera and the back side is matching color and it has a nice feel and a nice texture to it. This doesn't move too much unless you really force it in which yes, you can engage the sleep awake. It's gonna show some fingerprinting, but nothing too terrible. And it does use the sleep awake. When you fold it back naturally, it's gonna go into this mode. You can see it overlaps. So you kind of have to push it back a little bit. This is all enclosed here. And this is where it gets tricky, at least for me, the magic cube. Let's see if we can do this, right? So here is a first stand. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Uh, you can also go outwards from what I understand. So let me see if I can get this going. And this is another one. So, hey, I'm two for two right now. This isn't too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a little tricky here and see if I can fold it up into a different position here. And this is where I always run into problems is trying to get these other positions working for me. There's one. So it's kind of a viewing slash typing angle. And you know what? I'm going to leave it at there. I hate to say it, but uh, I am getting a little confused with the different stand options here. Again, I'll show them to you. The ones that I can get them into it holds and it works pretty well. Uh, of course, this isn't necessarily going to work in a lap environment. And as you can see, if you do it right, you can get 80 degrees, 75 degrees, 70 degree and 65 degree angles here. So it is a nice case. Again, I said it's a love hate relationship. You either love the origami style cases or you don't. And my feelings aside, this case is going to get a four out of five. If you guys have questions, comments or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. Hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.